Good evening, well, this is Ivan O'Mara. It's going to be another engine video. There's nothing to watch on YouTube, so I decided to just make a video. I'll make maybe a 50 minute video when I'm done. Obviously, so I just got my hair done. Obviously, the woman did an amazing job, even better than the salon. Yeah. You guys will see, in like, I don't know, sometime this week when I make my video, you'll see my hair. My hair is longer now and everything. It's finally long. It's not like the fro anymore. It's actually getting longer now. My next touch on my dreads will be long. It'll be pretty, the medium size. Yeah. And after this, I might go get saw. I might take my nice 30 minute walk and get Subway. There's nothing to really eat at home, so I'll get like maybe a tuna sub for myself. Yeah. <laughs> I have three beers, four beers left. I'm drinking while I'm making this video. I'm not having one beer because it's getting late. I have to go to bed early. Because I have uh, work tomorrow. And I'm... Boy, the boss is gonna make me clean under the sink, which is fucking tiring. It hurts my back. And it's, it's it's stressing shit. Cleaning the uh, the. Uh... And that's why there's a part of me that's tempted to just. I rather work full time at Dinty's because I don't do as much work there, man. Go go fruity, man. Even though I like I love working there, man. They make me do this dirty work. They make me do like everything, man. It's crazy. The, the guys, the, the line guys, don't even care about about me at all. They don't care that I'm tired. They make me do everything. Now the one lady who works there, she also makes me clean the boards too. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, man? I have to do everything here. This is crazy, man. You guys can't help me out. Why do I have to take out the oil? And why do I have to what? The oil is your responsibility. Like, I don't work in the kitchen. Why do I have to do your dirty work and take out the oil? Why do I have to bring the eggs for you? Why do I have to bring the melons for you? Why do I have to bring the oranges for you when you can take it yourself? Especially on a weekday and they make me do it. I have to take all the garbage. Sometimes sometimes they make me mop the whole restaurant. Today the other guy was nice enough to help me. He's like, Ivan, I'll mop the restaurant for you. You're tired. Yeah, he helped me out, which is very nice because the other guy left. He's like, Ivan, I'm leaving. You're mopping the whole restaurant. I'm like... So you don't even care that I did. I take out all that garbage for you. I take the oil for you. I get, I bring you the eggs. You can't even mop the kitchen for me. But they don't care. Yeah, I, we're fucking lazy. We don't want. I don't want to mop it. I want to make you do all the dirty work. Yeah. I like Coco Fruity because I like the people there. It's like a family there, but like the work there is labor, man. They make me do dirty work there. It's crazy, man. Whereas Dinty's is not as much work as Coco Fruity, man. It's way more slack, and I get tipped there too. They, they pay me tip there, yeah. I said, like, yeah, I, I'd rather work full-time at Dinty's than work part-time at Local 40 because Dinty's, I get tip, and I, I don't do as much work, man. And the food there is better, right? Yeah, they have better food, obviously. They have the pizza, the burgers, and, like, all that stuff. No, Coco 40 has good food, too. They're both good, right? Why did you choose Coco 40 over Casa Greek? Because Coco 40 feels more like a family. Casa Greek does not feel like a family when I worked there. I don't really, I, I, I didn't really click well with the guys. It was I click well with a lot of guys that I could go for you. The one line guy I clicked with, two of the line guys I, I click well with. I have both, I have a number on my phone. And uh, what? The dishwasher, he's chill. I click good with him, obviously. And the redhead works there too, obviously. I knew if I chose Casa Greek over the Coco Fruity, me and the redhead are not happening. That's why I chose to stay over here. That way I haven't shot at yet, uh, getting her next to your girlfriend. Or it might be another chick. Who knows? We'll see what happens, obviously, right now. There's one chick. There's, a, there's hot chicks at Dinty's, too. There's one chick I introduced myself to her. She's hot. She's hot, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of thinking uh, maybe I should pursue her, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's hot, man. She's a hot chick, man, yeah. I need two shifts there at Dinty's. They're only giving me one shift a week. I need two shifts. 
Though I can save my money and get my bike all the season. What's that? So Ivan, you got someone to do your hair? Yeah, my neighbor. She's my neighbor. Everything's so convenient. She does my she's much cheaper. Only cost me 60, 60, 60, 60 bucks. Whereas the salon is like $130, $30. It's crazy. And she did a better job than the salon I went to. Leah's salon's very good, but the hair, I looked at my dress now. I compare it to like when I did my hair three months ago. It's night and day. But back then, my hair was just, I was just starting out. Now I actually have like short dreads. You'll see what I mean when you see my video. My dreads are like short now. Like when I started my, 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 my series like nine years ago, it's like that. And then my next touch up, my dreads will be like medium size. My hair is growing like crazy. Yeah. It grew like crazy. I'm like, holy shit, my dreads are like, my, my dreads are pretty long now. Yeah. It no, it no longer looks like a fro anymore. Yeah. I said, no, I said, oh my God, I even got his dreads back. Yeah, I got my dreads back. Some Sarah. Huh? Yeah. I'm tempted to speak out. Like, I, I, one day I think I might talk to my boss. I'm like, hey, can I talk to you for a second? He's like, I mean, what? I'm like, I feel, I'm like, I don't mean to be rude, but I feel like I'm, I'm being taken, I'm taking, I'm being taken advantage of here at, 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 at your restaurant. I mean, what do you mean? Like, the one line guy, he works, he works in a line, obviously. And he always makes me bring the eggs for him and makes me bring the melon when he can bring it himself. Like, why is he making me do that, man? It's not fair. I'm already doing more than enough work. Oh, I mean, you're tired. Yeah, man, like, it's stressing me out. It stresses me out when I have a lot of dishes to wash. And then the line guys call me and they make me take, bring the melon and, 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 and the pineapple when they can do it themselves. Because they're lazy, obviously. Like, I already have to take out a lot of garbage. I have to mop the restaurant. Why do I have to take out the, the melon? Why do I have to bring them the melon? Like all the other restaurants, Dinty's when I work there, they don't they don't make me take the stuff for them. They take it themselves. The Coco Fruity, they make me do everything, man. It's crazy, man. Even the waiters, they have their own garbage. The coffee, the the, the, the garbage for the coffee, right? They even make me take out their garbage too. I'm like, this is crazy, man. Everyone makes me do everything here. This is crazy. I like working there. But the work is, is they overwork me like crazy, whereby I'm so tired, man. I'm, I'm exhausted, man. You know what I'm saying? I took out a lot of garbage today, man. And even after taking out all that garbage, I also have to take out the oil. I have to bring the melon. I have to bring the eggs. And the one line guy, he's like, yeah, Ivan, I'm leaving. You have to mop the restaurant. I'm like, so you have to mop the kitchen. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like look, man, I have an appointment for my hair. I need you. I need you to help me out and mop the kitchen. He's like, oh, Ivan, I'll help you when he just left. And the other guy who I helped, who I helped move, right? I moved the couches at his apartment, right? He was nice enough to mop the kitchen for me. He's like, oh, Ivan, I'll mop the kitchen for you. I see you're tired. I'll mop the kitchen for you. I was nice enough to do that for me because I was fucking tired. I was exhausted. Because the Coco Fruity uh, uh, employees, they overwork me. They make me do everything, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I also have to do the order. You see what I'm saying? How crazy it is? Tuesday, Fridays, I have to do the order, which is tiring, man, because you have like you have a lot of order, a big order coming in. I have to take all the garbage. I have to bring your melons. I have to bring your pineapples. I have to bring your um your oranges. I have to empty out your oil. I also have to wash a bunch of dishes. I also have to mop the restaurant. Sometimes they even make me mop the whole wet restaurant, even the kitchen. I have to clean. And it's tiring, man. It's, it's tiring cleaning. Cleaning is tiring. Especially under the sink. With this shit, it's fucking tiring, man. It's it's, it's, it's tiring, man. And they, they all do slack work. They clean a little bit of the kitchen, but it's not the kind of work I'm doing. That's why I'm tempted to talk to the boss. I'm like, please, man, is it possible you can make the line guys bring their own melon and bring their own oranges and bring their own eggs? Because you're stressing me. They're stressing me out when they make me... Weekends, it's fine. Weekends, I don't mind bringing the, the melon because it's busy, obviously. But weekdays, they can bring it themselves, man. They're just being lazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And you can talk to the boss about that, Ivan, if you want. Yeah. You might be like, oh, Ivan, yeah, you might tell me, oh, Ivan, 
I understand, like, you're tired. Yeah, man, I, like, you're, you're overworking me whereby I'm doing everything, man. It's crazy. Talk to the boss about it if you want. That way these guys don't take advantage of me, man. Because it's very annoying when, I, when I'm when i washing a bunch of dishes, during the, especially on a weekday when it's not busy, and the line guys, they make me take bring the melon, the oranges, and, and the pineapple. When they're right there, they can bring it themselves. They make me, They call me all the way from dish pit. To bring it for them when they can do it themselves. The only way for me to, to avoid like conflict is if you talk to the boss about it. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to speak, I don't want to talk back to that guy. I don't want him not liking me, obviously. So you can talk to the boss about it, and maybe he can tell the guy, okay, give Ivan a break, take, bring your own melon, bring your own oranges, bring your own eggs, stop t telling Ivan to bring that for you on weekdays. It's not busy. It takes 20 seconds to bring it in and you make, you call me all the way from the spit and have me walk all the way to the fridge to bring the stuff for you when you can do it yourself. You're just lazy. Some Sarah? Yeah. Anyway, I thought, I thought I should get that out of my chest. Yeah. Some Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, that lady, yeah, young lady did a did a wonderful job. She did an amazing job. Like, holy shit, this chick is amazing. She's a good hairdresser, yeah. She's fucking amazing. She's better than even the people at the salon, man. She's cheaper too. Salons are more expensive because they have employees to pay, they have rent to pay. That's why they're so expensive. But the lady, my neighbor here, she did my hair and she did an amazing job. Yeah man. She's cheap too, obviously. Very nice woman. When you watch this, thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. You did an amazing job. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ivan, you're going to lose the weight. I already lost 20 pounds, guys. I was 291 in December. I started taking my walks in early December. I weighed myself. I was 291. Now I am two like seventy, around there, two seventy. Why I lost twenty pounds? Really, I mean, yeah, man, I lost twenty pounds, man. Whatever I'm doing, it's working. So by the, by, I don't know, by August, September, I will lose all the weight. I'll be one ninety four. Sexy as hell, looking like I don't know, skinny like Robert Patterson in Twilight. Looking good. I'm sorry. I'm looking good, yeah. I'll be looking good. I'll be looking very good. <coughs> Will your dreads be long by August? Yeah, my dreads. My next touch-up is in April. April, my dreads will look medium size. By August, September, I'll have pretty long dreads. Not like my very unique video, but it'll be pretty long. Like, you remember when I made my miscellaneous series, my dreads grew pretty long? Yeah, it'll be like that. Except this time, it's everything is, is neat and everything. Whereas, then when my when my dreads were long, it was all, all over the place. It was messed up. Because I didn't get it touched up for months. That's so why I had to cut it all off. Cut it. Hence why I'm never going to be that stupid again. I'm going to take care of my dreads. Obviously. But she told me, the, 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 the lady told me, I you have to wash your hair. When my hair was a bit dirty. Because I only wash it like once a month. I mean, you should wash it like once a week. Hence why I'll wash it like once a week. My, 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 my nice like shampoo. Apple. Um, what's it again? Cider vinegar, whatever it is. Yeah. I admit, yeah, tomorrow I'll, I might, I might, I'll make a video tomorrow showing my face. I'll talk about Sky Source and my days with all that stuff, obviously. Some Sarah.
I have Ruby C, girlfriend. I don't know, man. I'm looking, man. There's a one chick at Dinty's who I'm interested in. She's actually hot. She's a beautiful woman. There's one chick at, uh, and there's obviously the redhead at, the redhead at, uh, <coughs> at, uh, Coco Fruity. And also the other chick who I said was 17. She's hot, too. She's a beautiful chick. She's beautiful. And there's, there's other woman out there I can go for, obviously, right? I'm just dumb, obviously. But I have to keep it secret. I think you guys are crazy people. I'm not stupid. I'm keeping it secret. <laughs> you guys are crazy people, man. Yeah. Because, guys, when I lose the weight, guys, you're going to be shocked with my transformation. I even look so different. Yeah, I look different. Because now I have my bone structure. I have my long dreads. I'm saying I lost the weight. I have my bike now. And I'm saying I'm looking good. I mean, you're shocked. Holy shit. I even look handsome when he's skinny. <laughs> Because you're used to seeing me fat, right? Ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've been a, I was I was big. I was a big guy. When I started my YouTube channel, I was like two fifty. I wasn't too fat then, but then I gained a bunch of weight as the years passed on. Obviously, now I'm like two. I lost twenty pounds. I'm 270, 270 something, two seventy one now. But I want to get down to two one ninety four. That's good enough. And once I lose the weight, I'm going to take, like, 10, 15-minute jogs on a treadmill, like, four days a week. And I'll do, like, my sit-ups. I have an ab machine here at home. I'll do my my, my, my abs. And also, I'll do my, like, 60 sit-ups a day. And that's how I build muscle and I get jacked and toned. Because I don't feel like going to the gym. The gym's expensive. I can't afford that, man. I can afford it, but it's a big part of my budget. I don't feel like paying, like, 40, 70 bucks a month for the gym. No. I have my own treadmill here in my basement. I'll just go, like, do a nice, like, 15-minute jog. And I do, like, push-ups, 60 push-ups a day and, like, 60 sit-ups. And I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I get jacked. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because all my so friends at Darcy, most of them all lost weight. Obviously. My so-called best friend... Who had the rich father, obviously. He was like my best friend in uh, in grade 11. Him and the other guy who had his rich cousin, whatever it is. They, they, the other guy who was um who was, a, who was like a skater. Who had the rich father who owned that golf course. He was already skinny. And he was a good looking dude. He was a very, very good looking guy. And the other guy who was not as good looking at first. He was a bit fat. He's not bad looking. But once he lost the weight, he got much better looking. And now he actually looks good. He's a good looking dude now. You know said they all lost weight. He lost weight. You know what I'm saying? The other guy who worked at McEwen's, who bragged about how rich that owner was, obviously, he did not lose any weight. I saw him like a couple months ago at Coco Fruity. He's still fat, obviously, but I think he works out. He's a bit buff, obviously. He didn't lose any weight. But the other guy who owned that club in Ottawa, who took pictures with, with Biebs and Selena Gomez, he lost all. He used to be a bit big, obviously. He was average size like me, and then after high school, he lost. He lost a lot of weight. He got skinny, and now he's like jacked. He's like one ninety pounds, one eighty five pounds of muscle. He's jacked now. He's a model, and he owns his own clothing brand in Toronto with his girlfriend. When he lives with, lives with his girlfriend, whatever it is, yeah, he's jacked and skinny now. His best friend, who's the black guy, obviously, the guy who told me you're 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 your best friend's bitch, obviously. He lost weight in grade 10. He used to be f big, big, a big dude. And he lost all the weight in grade 10. And after high school, he he, he worked out. And he, now he's, he's pretty jacked. And he looks good. So i Sarah. Now, all my so-called friends at Darcy, or the guys who were not my friend of mine, they all lost weight and all look good now, man. Except for the one guy in McEwen. He's a bit fat now when he worked. He's a bit buff, but... Most of them all lost weight and they all have their make, make out sessions and things of women. So that's my point. Well, I never had any of that. I'm sorry. But most of my so called friends, most of them all have kids, man, now. Or they, they're like engaged or they have a girlfriend or something like that. They're in a serious relationship. That's my point. I'm sorry. And they all have good paying jobs. The 50, 60, 70, 80, uh, some even 100 plus dollars a year. Yeah. Sarah. 
That's my point. That's why I want to get my first secure girlfriend. Who knows? Maybe the chick from Denny's might be my first secure girlfriend. I don't know. She's hot. This is a blonde, obviously, right? Is she blonde? She's like a mixture of blonde and brunette. It's weird. Like a mixture of blonde and brunette. She's hot. I, 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 I introduced myself to her. I, I did these. I'm like, hey, what's your name? She's like, uh, my name is this. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Ivan. You know what I'm saying? And I saw her outside before she left. I said bye to her. And I'm saying, yeah, I'm, 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 who knows? We'll see what happens, obviously. I am going to vlog at Dindy's, by the way, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna walk there. Stay tuned to April. I'm going to April. I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog at St. Hubert's first, and I'm gonna vlog at Dinty's. I'm gonna walk there, or I can take the bus there. I don't know. See how lazy I am. And I'm gonna you yeah. at the bar, have a beer, a couple beers. I'm gonna order myself my small pizza. I'm gonna flirt. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna try my best to flirt with the with the with the waiter there, the bartender there. Yeah, because I work there now, right? And you're gonna see me talking to her and all this stuff in the video. That's an amazing vlog. Stay tuned for that, guys. In April. Yeah. Sarah? What if your seven others envious? You too, man. You had your first year boyfriend, so stop being a hypocrite, man. There you go. I don't want to be an asshole. Because I do feel a bit bad calling her a bitch, but I I don't mean to be rude. She is a, she is a selfish bitch, man. She's evil, man. She has all these numbers on her phone. She sees all these guys. And she gets mad at me for seeing one chick. She's crazy, man. Yeah. She's crazy. So you don't know what it's like to have a girlfriend? Nah, man. I don't even know what it's like to, 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 to caress a girl. To what? To hold a girl's hand. No, I've held a few girls' hand a few times. But, uh... I don't hate me saying nothing, but, like... I've been to, stri to strip clubs, though. So I do know what it's like to see a chick naked, obviously. And she's grinding hard on me, obviously. Hardcore. What well, I busted? <laughs> yeah. How bad was... Ivan, were you, 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 were we discussed it. Yeah, I didn't know what you... I don't know what this chick fucking has, man. Yeah. But back then, I thought I had disease. Well, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what this fucking chick had. As soon as she screwed all over me, I, I gave her the money, and I, I, I ran out of there. I left, and I took my cab home, and I put my clothes in the washer right away. I took a shower. <laughs> it was gross. I didn't know what she had. Yeah. It was so dirty. She, 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 I'm not kidding around. She wet my fucking pants. My pants were soaked, man. That's how dirty it was. But I never had sex with a chick, though. But it was dirty. And I now understand why they went dirty on me. Because why? <laughs> That's why they went dirty on me. Not all of them were dirty. But some of them were very, very dirty, man. Or by the chick wet my pants. <laughs> you, my pants were... I wore shorts. My shorts were like soaked in like... It was soaked, man. Right? It was fucking gross. I'm like, ew. <laughs> I left. You tell the chick she, she, she felt about her shit. Knows that. And I left. And I, I took my cab home. And I took my... As soon as I got home... I took off all my clothes. I put it in the fucking machine, obviously, the washing machine. And I took a fucking shower. <laughs> That's how gross it was. And I'm never going to show sure ever again, you know. Yeah, I'm so virgin. Never had sex with a woman. I don't know how to have sex with a woman. I don't know, I don't know the feeling, man. Was where my sister other knows the feeling, obviously, because she's fucking evil, you know. She wants her full cake. I don't want one chick touching Ivan. I'm going to let all these men touch me every week because I'm selfish. I'm a selfish bitch. I like these guys. Okay, so you like them. And that's why you can't leave their numbers. And so don't get mad at me if I like a chick and I, uh, I hang out with her too. Stop being a hypocrite. Yeah.
And she's scared, too. Oh, Ivan doesn't have to save me. He can just take his money and run off with his girlfriend. Yeah, she knows it, obviously. I can just pay this fee and run off with my girlfriend, man. I live life with her, and she's left behind in Hollywood. I don't have to deal with her mess. Because her mess will affect my life. And she knows that because she's selfish, obviously, and she loves me. She's blinded by all of it. So blind, whereby she still lets men touch her body every week. And she doesn't care. It's, as long as I cover it, everything is fine. No, it's not fine. I know the mess happened. Your mess will affect my life. That's why I'm piecing the fuck out once I pay this fee. I'm actually doing my taxes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I have three brews left. And after this, I might... I'm gonna... Oh. After this, I'm going to what? I'm going to... I might go to Subway and get a sub for myself. A tuna sub. Healthy tuna sub. All I ate today was a bedding at work. And there's nothing to eat at home. They didn't make any food, man. So I might just walk the subway and get a sub for myself after this. I'll enjoy the show with you guys with my three beers. So Ivan, do you like the chicken indies? I have a little bit of a crush on her. As soon as I saw her, I'm like, yeah, she's the hottest one there. I'm interested in her the most. I have a tiny little crush on her. But I don't like her as much as the redhead. But if I end up going for her and me and her happen and the, the redhead doesn't happen, it's her fault, man. She chose to be the bad girl. <gasps> That's why. Don't blame me. I'm saying don't, don't get mad at me, man. Yeah, it's your fault. There you go. But I told you, when I lose this weight and I grow my dress and all stuff, I will get the redhead's attention. The question is, how bad of a chick will she, will she, will she choose to be? Will she choose to let go of her pride and stop being a bad girl? And just hang out with me, you know what I'm saying? Or if you want to play bad and, and have me fight for you, and I end up, you end up losing your opportunity to, 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 to hang out with me, and I end up ditching her, and I go for another chick. Chick at Dinty's, you know what I'm saying? Chick at St. Hubert's, Boston Pizza. It's your fault. It's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? Don't hang out with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my point here? That was you point, I mean, yeah. So tomorrow, I'll make a video. Um, I'll talk maybe about the Matrix topic. No, I like talking about Zayn. The Matrix is not guaranteed. I'll talk about... I might talk a bit about the Matrix. And I'll show you the Matrix Awakens clip to get an idea of how sick my game will be. If I do the Matrix. And I'll, I'll, after that, I'll talk more about Zayn and maybe Sky Source, my payment structure, all that stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, that woman, my neighbor, man, she did an amazing job, man. She's, my, my hair looks amazing. You guys will see my hair tomorrow, how amazing it looks. It's no longer... You know how before when you saw my hair, you saw a bit of the, the, the spikes, but it looked a bit like a, like a fro? It doesn't look like a fro anymore. Now it actually looks like dreads. It's like small dreads now. It looks good now. Yeah, it's a good look on me. Yeah, she did an amazing job. She's cheaper, too. <laughs> Amazing hairstylist. Yeah, that's why I told her, like, thank you so much, man. You did an amazing job. You're even better than, uh... She told me she charges 25 an hour. And it took two hours to do my hair, but I gave her 60 bucks because I'm nice, obviously. I gave her a nice, like, $10 tip, pretty much, right? Yeah. Because I'm nice. I'm a nice guy, right? Yeah. I have one more beer. Two is enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. I have you drink while I make a video. Yeah, it's too late, man. I, don't, I have to go to bed soon, so I have to drink, drink my beer quick, obviously. So I'm not kind of 